Welcome back to Chasing News. I'm Bill Spadia. As we wrap the show up tonight, I want to tell you a story of inspiration. A young man, Laquan Hicks, who was a single dad, got his life back together after being released from prison, now runs a pretty successful food truck in Newark. Lisa Durden caught up with him the other day. Yeah, Lisa, tell me what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was starving and I was driving down Clinton Avenue in Newark in the South Ward. And we were going downtown to some restaurant and then I saw this food truck and they had all these like, you know, Christmas lights and saying fried fish sandwiches for three dollars. And I pulled over and got a fish sandwich and then we just began that to wasn't. talk. Delicious. I couldn't get you one today, Bob, Bill. Sorry. Sorry. Um, so I ended up talking with him and he said that he was a former uh, uh, inmate or prisoner. And he, when he got out of prison, he could not find a job for obvious reasons because he has a, a record. And I use the skills by me being incarcerated have changed me and it changed my mind and my thinking to now I use my ability now to do something I learned by being incarcerated away from my family to now I can take care of my family now. You know, Bob, it really does beg the question, what are we doing with inmates who are coming out? It's, uh, it's a very challenging thing to transition back into the real world. Uh, it seems to me that there's an opportunity here for local government, at least, to, uh, to offer opportunity for more people like Laquan to start a business. Bill, this scourge of people who come out of prison with criminal convictions and can't work in even the most menial jobs is sad to watch. Yeah. And I watch it all the time in my career. So I love what this guy is doing. He took it to the streets, literally. He said, I'm going to do it myself as an entrepreneur. I'm not going to rely on anybody. I'm not going to be kitty That's boo boo right. about it. I'm going to go out there and make my own business. I think we should make this a state sanctioned program. He got training in the prison. That's awesome. Maybe it can be in other fields. And now he's his own businessman. He's yeah. not tied to anyone else. God bless the guy. Lisa, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. Uh, is he talking to the mayor? I, mean, I think Ross yeah, Baraka, yeah. who has done an amazing job yes. turning Newark around, yes. would be really open to an idea like yes. this. I said, what if we had something that the mayor would create a, an opportunity for other prisons coming out, that I can be the one that trains them in the food trucks? He, yeah. can, he built the food truck himself, That's and amazing. he can literally franchi franchise yeah. the food trucks, and so these other people can do the same thing and earn money who want to do it without worrying about being turned down because your application said you're a convicted, convicted felon. And his food truck is called Smart Cart. It's Look, very smart. You've done your time. You've done your time. <laughs> That's, it. That's it. And, yeah. you know, you, if people need a leg up. I think yeah. that would be a, a yeah. very positive thing for and, uh, the mayor to do. And, and yeah. maybe uh, Bob the governor ought to look at it, too. That'd be Laquan, great. Laquan, congratulations to you. Hi, Laquan. And uh, you're a real inspiration <laughs> to a lot of folks out there.